afternoon and thanks for stopping by. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a couple of enhancements in Hcbl 8.2.2 regarding task UI. So uh, let's just begin by going to Siebel Tools. I'll just get my environment ready. There we go, nothing to report here. And in Siebel Tools I've created a task. Uh, the properties are just as standard, uh, nothing's changed here as far as we can see. And we'll edit the task flow. Um, I haven't quite completed the task flow, so I'm just going to add a few more steps to it now. Um, the general usability of the task editor is the same. Uh, recommendations, as always, with a graphical editor to save your work as you go forward. Um, and uh, if necessary, get very frustrated moving these items about. You can express your artistic integrity. There we go. Save your work. Uh, I'm just going to add a little more logic to this uh, flow in order to demonstrate a new feature in Siebel 8.2.2, which is called Accelerated Navigation. Thanks to the magic of Hollywood, that's another kind of accelerated navigation. You didn't have to spend 15 minutes with me creating the task. Here it is in its completed format. Two chapters, one blue, one green. Insert a service request and then three separate pages to enter the data, one of which is behind a condition based on the priority of the service request. Uh, the behavior of the editor and the publishing, uh, nothing appears to have changed. Uh, I'm just going to publish and activate my task. In the meantime, I've also made all the necessary configuration. I've added a task group and a task group item, and I've made sure to update the task pane view and include my view task group so that my task will now display. I'm going to restart the Siebel client and I'm going to use sadmin sadmin. And here I am on my task. I have uh, my first page and I am going to make sure, there we go, I'll just enter some details for my service request. I'm going to click the next button. And so now I'm on page two, as you can see. And the new feature is that I can now use the task pane view and double click to navigate in an accelerated fashion between the parts of the task that I've already seen. Obviously I can't go to stage three yet because I've not actually ever seen it. So it's a way of navigating between pages that you're working on, stepping quickly back or forward to complete or correct a data entry. This is a nice enhancement. Let's go around one more time and I'll enter some more information. I'll go to the next and then I'll decide that I've made a mistake and I need to return to part one. Double click, there we go. Accelerated navigation, change the priority again and then use accelerated navigation again and now I can click next and proceed to the third part and complete my task. One thing that I haven't been able to locate so far, and it's probably me, is uh, in the documentation and indeed in the what's new, uh, mention was made of a task completion or task progress indicator uh, designed to display a percentage figure representing how far you are through the task UI. For example, if you have six steps and you're on step two, well then you will be 33% of your way through the task. It explains how it calculates it, and explains how most of the work is done at design time, but uh, there's nothing I can find in the documentation to explain how to make it work. One other feature that I think is well worth our mentioning is the new Event Handler tab, which enables me to quickly set up event handlers for common task events, such as post-completion. I can say that post-completion I should run a workflow process pick any available workflow process here. There are a variety of event handlers which include things like what happens if what should we do when you delete a task, when you pause a task, post-cancel, pre-cancel, very very useful. To finish today we're going to switch back to the inbox and illustrate something which may or may not be new to you but it was new to me is selecting for example uh, this program down at the bottom of the inbox I now have a history tab which will illustrate the history of this task and you can see that it was originated from a particular user at a particular date and time and it is now active with me Sadmin that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Once I find out anything more, I'll let you know. Have a great day. Bye-bye.